Hey, it's me, Curtis P. One week from today, Apple will be announcing their brand new products to New York City. So let's run down some of the biggest rumors leading up to the event. Yep, one week from today, Apple will be taking the stage at the Howard Gilman Opera House in New York City to talk all about the brand new iPad Pros and possibly some interesting new Mac news. Of course, the invitations for the event were sent out last week and the big tagline here is, there's more in the making. It's interesting to note that Apple appears to have sent out unique designs for the invites to every single person. There are hundreds of different invite designs available online for everyone to check out and it's amazing to see. So the invites usually always lead to some sort of like clues as to what the event could be about. So the idea of all of this creativity, well, what do creatives use to create this sort of stuff? Well, they use Apple's Pro line of devices. So we're talking iPad Pros, we're talking MacBook Pros, Mac Pros, all that fun stuff. So I expect that that's what the company will be announcing at this event. So let's start off with the new iPad Pros. They're gonna be gaining the look and feel of the new iPhone 10 with that face ID and the sort of edge to edge design. So say goodbye to the home button here. The new iPad Pros will come in an 11 and a 12.9 inch version. Again, like I said, they'll have face ID and slimmer bezels here. The interesting thing here is rumors are pointing to Apple actually switching from Lightning over to USB-C for the actual connector on the bottom, which would be a pretty big shift here. And there's some rumors stating that Apple's smart connector is gonna be moved to the back of the device, which will be a little interesting. So um, that could be uh, a little weird at first, but hey, maybe Apple has a good reason for doing it. Overall, that's really all we're seeing for the new iPad Pros. Now, it's gonna be a big update overall. It's a brand new look, a brand new design for the iPad Pros and really bringing it into the future look for Apple, sort of a unified mobile device look here. After that, we have to talk about, of course, the Mac because one of the biggest outstanding devices that Apple hasn't updated in a long time is the MacBook Air. So we might finally see a sort of successor to that device. The rumors point to the new laptop having slimmer bezels all the way around and a retina display. It would also have a Touch ID sensor built into it, but not the touch bar. Another device Apple hasn't updated in a long time is the Mac Mini. Yes, the uh, current Mac Mini that you can go and buy at the Apple Store right now has the innards of a 2014 Mac Mini. So it's probably time that Apple updates that. To go a little bit bigger here, the iMac might see a small upgrade to the display here. We might actually get like a true tone sort of display, which would be interesting, but because of the size, it's a little bit more difficult to achieve. And to end it all off, we might finally see that Mac Pro that Apple has been kind of talking about. They've pretty much announced that they're working on it. It's going to be a new modular Mac, right? Like it's gonna be sort of like a tower Mac, like a traditional PC. And Apple is said to be making it modular so that you can upgrade it in the future if you want to. Which is interesting because it would be the only computer Apple sells that would be modular. Really the only device that Apple sells where you could like take parts out of it and swap them, at least easily. So it'll be interesting to see what Apple has sort of cooked up because of course they came out with the trash can a couple of years ago and everyone thought that looked really cool and then they never updated the internals. So that didn't really work out well for them. So it's probably good to bring back sort of like the classic PC look for the Mac Pro and just let professionals upgrade individual parts if they need be. So overall, that's just a quick rundown of what I expect Apple to announce at next week's event. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think Apple is going to be announcing and what you're looking forward to the most. I'm personally looking forward to the new iPad Pros. They are awesome. I love the iPad Pro. I use it every single day. I literally have it right here. I use it to, uh, put these videos together. So yeah, I love the iPad Pro, but it would be nice to have a bigger display on it, sort of like with the thinner bezels, and the Face ID would be a great improvement. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, and of course, subscribe to the channel. I'm releasing new videos like this throughout the week, so make sure you subscribe. And of course, if you ever have a topic you wanna see me talk about, you can of course tweet it at me. Until next time, everybody, I'm Curtis Parody, and I'll see you next week. Should be fun.